Good morning, John. I'm having a lovely time hanging out with our parents at their house in very damp North Carolina. It's lovely. It's just very wet. Taking a step back for me is important and very nice, especially right after VidCon, where I'm always like hanging out with people who are doing really cool things and I start to think that they're doing cooler things than me and maybe they're smarter than me, making good decisions that I'm not making, taking opportunities that I'm not seeing. And I bet a lot of people can relate to this feeling that you look around at other people and think, oh my God, they actually, they actually know what they're doing, which I had that thought all the time, which is ridiculous. This is the biggest secret of online video, of course, no one has any idea what they're doing. I'm standing in the rain with my computer. Basically, I'm saying if the person who started the conference that you're at can feel this way, then any person can in any circumstance. It's just a human nature thing, I guess. And one thing that I need to remember is that over time, my drive has changed shape. Things that I once wanted to do, I don't want to do as much anymore. And then I look back and I think, I missed the opportunity to do that thing, but intentionally, because I didn't want to. I was just talking with our dad while standing on a bridge, watching my son throw rocks into a creek was nice. And I told him an idea I had for a business and he said to me, you're not gonna do that, are you? And I said, of course not. No, just because an, a business opportunity exists doesn't mean that I'm going to go and do it. But there was a point in my life when that actually was how I felt. I felt like if I wasn't creating all of the economic value I could, then in a sense I was, I was failing society. I still feel obligations to society, of course, I just don't feel that particular one anymore. I run a bunch of different businesses. One of the less glamorous ones is one of the ones that I like the most. It's a shipping company. We create great products for content creators that they can sell to their communities. I started it with my friend Alan in 2008, and now I'm running it with my friend Dave. It sounds a little boring, it's not an app, but it's found a niche, it's doing its thing, it makes people happy, and it helps creators grow their businesses or, or go full time. And the success of that business relied on me realizing, accepting, and actually being excited about the fact that I didn't want it to make make billions of dollars and get sold to Amazon or some terrible thing. And so I have two pieces of DFTBA.com related news. One, John, you and I, as great as we are at lots of things, have too much stuff on the shelves in the DFTBA warehouse. And nobody ever comes to me and tells me this because I'm the CEO of the company. So we're doing a thing. For $17.99, and this includes shipping anywhere in the world, we will send you a big old bag of Vlogbrothers stuff. Up to 10 items, and that includes shirts and hats and posters and decals and pins. This is gonna last two weeks, unless we run out of stuff. And also other things are on sale. For example, the bobbleheads, which we made too many of, let's just be honest. And we're selling those for $2 now. They're $2, everybody. You'll also have to pay for shipping on those. Obvious reasons why. Am I wearing DFTBA socks right now? I am wearing DFTBA socks right now. They're so comfy. Can I show you my socks without falling off a mountain? <laughs> I kicked leaf onto my head. The other piece of DFTBA news, we decided that since we have like pretty big goals for what we would like to do with regard to maternal health in Liberia with Partners in Health, that we're gonna take the vast majority of the after-tax profit of DFTBA.com and give it to Partners in Health to work on that project, which we will have more information on soon. This is DFTBA's money, the money that it makes doing its business, whether that money comes from Kurtz Gazat or Lindsay Ellis or the McElroy Brothers or Life's Library. And we'll still be doing the rest of our business exactly the same. We'll pay our employees the same. We'll bonus them the same. We're just gonna take the profit and start giving it to something that mattered more because that those are the obligations that I feel now. It's just about people coming together to solve problems and make things that people like. And also, to get some space in our warehouse. Kanan is mad. He wants us to make some space. So big sale. That's what's happening. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. It's so pretty out here. Enjoy, everyone. I should always vlog in the middle of the woods. It's beautiful. I'm glad it didn't start raining harder. I was lucky.